It's all, it's all. The now Fred shame a Sims. And when last we left off, David and Yvette's relationship has become that much more serious, as the two are now in love with each other, which is a beautiful thing indeed, and has opened up one more interaction for Dave. He can ask Yvette to marry him, and that is an interaction that has a very low percentage chance of success. That is, if you asked her immediately as soon as she came round, because uh, both of their moods need to be really high, and their relationship also needs to be very strong for there to be a chance of uh, Yvette saying yes, but uh, hey, at least the option is available, and so they're one step closer to being man and wife, with uh, Yvette moving in and them both living together on the same lot. Meanwhile, across the road, Samuel is trying to gain friends, and while we have a few minutes here, we're just going to very quickly uh, ring Dave, because he's not at work just yet, although I get the feeling the uh, conversation may not uh, go to its conclusion, as Dave may really want to go to work. And indeed, the conversation did not finish, is, uh, ah, hello! Tiffany is here already, let's uh, go and say hello, and then have her come into here, so that the uh, room stat doesn't go down too much. Hello, how are you? We're going to make you our family friend! And she wants to uh, give us some gossip, which is fine, because that interaction tends to work between the two of them. We're going to uh, switch between complimenting and having a conversation, for as much as we possibly can. There we go, and a few more of these, and uh, one more, there we go. Actually, we can have another one there. No more, however. Let's uh, let time uh, pass here and uh, see how strong this relationship gets. Currently it's at 27, we really need it to get a lot better though, to about maybe 50 or 60. Actually, we really wanted to just uh, get as good as possible. There we go. And every time an interaction uh, fades away there, we'll just uh, put another one there in its place, uh, switching between uh, complimenting and talking, until we're pretty much done. Also, uh, ten simoleons? That is pretty good. We may not- aha! We have a new family friend, which is brilliant. We may not have a lot of time to uh, get all these interactions done, so uh, we may just want to uh, get rid of the ones that we can't achieve. But any uh, positive we gain here is a uh, positive that is a uh, good indeed, as it means the relationship will last that much longer. Alright, can we get one more compliment in before we uh, go to work? We're going to find out. The answer is, I think we can. This relationship is uh, actually not bad. It is at uh, 72. Not bad at all. We do need to work on... Um, Let's see, we need to work on uh, talking to Cameron at some point. We could do that tomorrow morning. And then we're most certainly going to have to uh, find somebody else to talk to, as uh, we don't really know anybody else whatsoever. That well, that is. And the phone is ringing, and we weren't there at all. We're going to actually just uh, go into here, and immediately go and play the piano, because uh, Melisande is going to try and interact with us, and that usually doesn't work. There we go. Time to play some music. Music that is fantastic. There we go. It won't take long for uh, fun to get pretty much maximized, and Melisande is sort of just waiting for an interaction there. An interaction that went rather well this time. Excellent. And I think fun is pretty much nearly max, which is good. A little more work there, Samuel. And then you can focus on going to bed, because you are very, very tired. There we go! That is enough piano for you! Enough! There we go. And uh, time for sleep. You are very tired. Every little bit of uh, sleep does help, and uh, the more time you have before work, the more likely it is that you'll be able to... Uh, aha! The phone is going immediately! Time for you to go and answer that pretty much instantly. And there is the difference between uh, Samuel and uh, Dave. He can get out of bed pretty quickly even when he's really tired. Is this going to be a lot of money? Let's find out, eh? The answer is... No, we're fixing your phone line. Don't pick up the phone the next time it rings. You really shouldn't have told us that, you know. We probably could have uh, done without being told. Ah well, time for us to go to bed once more. You know we're going to answer the phone even if it rings, because it might be a massive pile of money. Aha! Congratulations, your pet has earned a hunting skill point. And the phone has indeed a rung immediately. Let us go and answer that. There we go. Is it going to be a big pile of money? We're about to find out. 
The answer is no. The number six will be very important for you in the next 24 hours. I personally think the number five is probably more important. After all, the number five is the uh, number of family friends that we need. And I think it's time for us to get up and greet the day. A little later than we normally want to greet it, but hey, later is better than never, and I don't think we're going to work today. At all. We need to get to know Cameron a fair bit better. There we go, just uh, cut up those vegetables, and then uh, use this, take the shower, and then, uh, not just actually take the shower, put it in your inventory, Samuel, and then the shower just goes into his pocket and is right there. We uh, really don't want that to happen. Okay, we'll just uh, deal with this, and uh, we definitely need to talk to Cameron a bit. Uh, I think Cameron is the most likely person to become uh, Samuel's fourth family friend, but I don't know about gaining another one. Also, probably uh, ringing uh, Tiffany and just saying hello is probably a good idea. A very good idea. And you really should stop singing. You're really just not good at that. You're just not good at that at all. We'll just uh, ring Tiffany here to uh, say hello. There we go. Not bad. And that was uh, quite a conversation, although I don't know if it actually worked that well. And now we're going to ring Cameron, and hopefully Cameron will uh, want to come around and say hello. I hope so anyway. It's always worth a try. And the answer is, sure, he'd be right over. Which is fantastic. And we're just going to uh, wait here. Interactions between these two, we don't need to do either of them right now, because um, their social is quite high. We're just sort of going to uh, have a seat and uh, wait around. There we go. He'll be here very soon, Samuel. Just wait. Aha! There he is. And he has a fantastic style because you're wearing exactly the same clothes and uh, you're not going to go and read that. You're also going to go and ignore the uh, call for work because uh, you need to go and uh, make more friends. If you don't mind, Bridget, we need to uh, get out there, and unfortunately that means we're going to walk all the way around. But at least we did get there. Hello, Cameron. How are you? Why don't you come inside? I haven't made any food whatsoever. I'm just going to talk to you until you become Samuel's friend. I can just imagine it being like, let's talk even more about things, and even more about things, and even more about things. And eventually we're just like, look, if I decide to become your friend, will you stop talking to me? Just constantly saying tons of topics about money and pizza and everything. And he's like, oh, all right, then that's fine. And then, finally, they become friends. Also, uh, we need to get rid of that interaction, and uh, we can't have any more interactions there. I wonder why. I really do wonder why. There we go. Excellent. We're just going to ignore work, and uh, there we go. Have a lot of conversation. Also, that did not work. Complimenting him did not work at all. And really uh, set us back all the way back to the beginning of uh, the um, positive relation there. We were at 34, and then we were not all the way back to uh, 33. So we're just going to have to talk a lot. But that's okay. There we go. We're already at 54, which is quite good. That is a significant improvement. And that's the phone. We're going to ignore that because, once again, that is work. And that is when, of course, it isn't work. Also, we now have a fourth family friend, which is fantastic. We really do need to get a uh, fifth one, though. And I think he's getting a little bit fed up of us uh, being here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, talk to him a little bit more, and then we're going to say goodbye, because why not? There we go. Excellent! We now have a fourth family friend. We really sort of need to, uh, let's ring uh, Dave right now, and just make sure that relationship remains strong. There we go. Hello, Dave! Are you going to be happy to uh, hear from us this time round? It's sort of, um, nope, this time it seems like it's going, nope, it does not seem like it's going rather well. But hey, any positive there is better than none. We could, uh, talk to, uh, Tiffany, that seems like a good idea. Let's just, uh, ring her quickly and say hi. We really need him to gain one more family friend, but, uh, I don't know who to ring. Who do we ring? I mean, we could ring, uh, Mortimer? Let's ring Mortimer, shall we? That's not a bad idea. It might work. All ah, right, and uh, Mortimer should not be at work right now. Let's um, there we go. Mortimer Goth, why don't you come over and say hi? I don't think you're going to want to. 
Ah, you're expecting the mail carrier. You know the mail carrier arrived a lot earlier in the day, right? A lot earlier in the day. All right then, we'll ring Bella. Maybe Bella will want to come over. Maybe. The answer is a resounding no. She's got to feed that llama that she definitely doesn't have. All right, who do we ring? We could ring Hector, I suppose. Hector may want to come round. That is pretty much a long shot, but then again, uh, ringing Tiffany was also a long shot. Would you like to come round? The answer is, uh, seeing you is at the bottom of his list of favourite things to do. That is very mean to say. Who else could we try and invite? Uh, Reese Towney? Let's try and invite Reese Towney around. At this point, we're starting to run out of people that we can potentially uh, talk to, but hey, let's give it a go, shall we? The worst that can happen is that she'll say no. She does want to come round. Marvellous. We'll very quickly go and pay these bills as well. You are very tired, but at least getting a small amount of interaction here is a good idea. Any amount of interaction is better than none, and it makes it that much more likely that she'll want to come round next time. There we go, and we'll uh, fill this up quickly, and then say hello. Just got to wait for her to get out of the way right now. There we go, and then we'll greet her by shaking her hand, and then invite her inside, just for a quick conversation. There we go, why don't you come on in? And immediately she wants to tease us, which is uh, not really what we want to have happen, so we're just going to have a conversation. We're going to make friends the Samuel way, by talking to her constantly about interests, and uh, hopefully we'll have things in common. The answer is we do have things in common. Marvellous, we're just gonna keep talking until um, he's way, way too tired. And this relationship is already at 20, which isn't bad. We may actually be able to uh, gain that tomorrow, if we're lucky. I really think, however, we uh, can't talk to her for that much longer, because uh, Samuel is about to fall asleep. There we go, we'll just uh, fill this up, and then we'll go to bed. We really need to get that uh, energy stat up to maximum. We're actually very close to uh, gaining that family friend that we need. Also, uh, that mood is terrible. Really, really bad. Alright, something's happening. Once again, nothing's happening. And that is pretty much what happens with Samuel and Dave. It's like, something terrible! Oh wait, never mind. And then that terribleness uh, becomes nothing. Nothing whatsoever. And they do seem to be getting on quite well, which is nice. It's nice indeed. Also, that relationship is now at 100. And that relationship is at 61, which isn't bad either. Alright, you are now up to greet the day, and I really think you need to do that first, before you do that. Have breakfast, and then uh, use that again, I suppose. Actually, do you really need to use that again? Probably not. You really do need to use that, however. There we go, and uh, quickly just do that, and uh, this, and you really need to get that fun stat up really quickly. We may not have time to uh, make one more family friend, but we'll certainly try. We'll try our best. There we go, that's uh, fantastic. Um, why don't you ring, uh, why don't you ring that person that you were just talking to earlier? We're really trying to be effective with our time right now. There we go, we'll just uh, invite you over. You may say hi. Ah, she's at work. That is not fantastic. So that's not really going to happen, which is unfortunate, but we could do something sneaky. We could visit a community lot. That could work. Let's explore the old town very quickly. There we go. Why not? The carpool will arrive in about an hour, but we have all the time in the world because we're going to a community lot. Specifically, we're going to go to uh, this community lot. Why not? The Sim Central Park, Old Town's favourite sunny gathering spot. All year round, the Sim City Kennel Club hosts a local pet show here. Enjoy the spectacle, or make your very own pet into a champion. Or we could go to somewhere else. You know what, actually, going here seems perfect. We'll just quickly visit here and uh, take advantage of the uh, small pocket of non-existent time that is present in an effort to make one more family friend. Who knows, maybe Reese might actually uh, arrive here. Let's have a look and see who is nearby. Also, um, both Melisande and Danielle also arrive. And I've no idea what, uh, ah, hello. Um, the Kettle Club president is planning a pet show in the near future. He wonders if you'd be interested in participating. No thanks, we're not really interested. We could uh, 
have a conversation here with Mama. You know what? Why not? We'll have a conversation here. The worst thing that could happen is that, um, we don't really get on whatsoever. It's worth a try, however. Is there anyone else even here? The answer is a resounding no. Ah well! You and me, Mama, we're going to have a lot of conversations. We're just going to uh, talk about interests. A lot. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get on quite well. Do we have interests that synergize? The answer is, um, not really. Oh, there's Claire! Well, we already know Claire, so uh, talking to her again really isn't uh, that good. Also, she's really disinterested in uh, having a conversation with us at all, so that's not a good idea. We could talk to Elden here, though. Why not? We're just going to go talk to Elden for a bit. The worst thing that could happen is that uh, Elden doesn't want to talk to us. It's worth a try. Hello, Elden. How are you? We're just going to say hello and talk to you quite a bit about pretty much everything. Like, for instance, what you're interested in. If you say swimming, I won't be surprised whatsoever. Are you interested in swimming? Well, you're certainly not interested in that, are you? Are you interested in that? The answer is no. Are you interested in this conversation? The answer is no. You're just not interested in anything, are you? You're not interested in anything whatsoever. We could, uh, greet you. We're really a bit desperate here to have somebody be our friend. I don't think this is going to work, is it? It was a uh, valiant effort, but going here just hasn't really worked in our favour. Also, we are not going to dive off the, uh, into the swimming pool. That would be silly. They don't seem to have anything in common. It would seem like while we're here, nobody wants to talk to Samuel at all. Oh, no, wait, they did have something very minor that they talked about, but I don't think this is working. Ah, well, it was worth a try, and for some reason, uh, the Kennel Club president was just standing in the way there. And now, Gunther and, um, Cornelia are playing basketball. I just think it's time for us to go home. This really didn't work out. But sometimes things don't work out. Ah, well, it's too late for you to go and dive in. We're just waiting to go home. And that guy is still in the way. We really need him out of the way. Also, something is happening over there. What is happening over there? Were they interacting with each other? Not surprising. Also, whenever you get out of the way, there we go, that would be fantastic. I know you're desperate to have people compete in your uh, competition, but just getting in the way there is not good whatsoever. So pretty much that didn't work. We uh, wasted quite a bit of um, the uh, needs here of Samuel for pretty much nothing, which is a shame. And now it's time for him to go to work, and he really needs to go to work. His energy is going to be absolutely rock bottom, which is a shame. Alright, we also need to get rid of them when we get back, and uh, generally I think we need to go straight to bed, because uh, energy is uh, very low. Actually, if we go to bed immediately after uh, dealing with these uh, cockroaches here, they are, are they fighting with each other? They are uh, playing with each other. Oh, fair enough, it sort of looked like fighting, but no, they're just playing with each other which is fine. All right, we'll have this interaction, we'll deal with all the cockroaches, and then we'll be going pretty much straight to bed. Is there more than one uh, group of them? I don't know, but we're going to find out, aren't we? The answer is... it doesn't seem like there is. All right, time to go to sleep. We definitely need to uh, go to sleep, and uh, see if we can gain one more family friend. Also, it would seem that Claire is no longer our family friend, which is uh, really awkward. All right, time to have, uh, let's fill this up first, and then have breakfast, and then do the routine that we always do. There we go. And very quickly we want to, uh, unfortunately we won't be able to, um, actually we could, uh, skip another day at work, and, uh, make sure then that we definitely can, uh, gain those family friends that we need. That is probably a good idea. A very good idea. We'll just quickly play this until we get to maximum fun here. Our mood is fantastic! We really want to uh, ring uh, Claire here and see if she'll come around. Alright, would you like to come over? Love to, I'm bored stiff here. Which is handy, because we're not bored stiff at all! Alright, are you here yet? The answer is a resounding no you are not. And when we come back, folks, 
we're sort of juggling trying to uh, maintain all of our family friends. Hopefully we'll be able to manage this, because otherwise it's uh, going to be very difficult for Samuel. Very difficult indeed. Ah, hello Claire, how are you? We're going to uh, say hello. And when we come back, hopefully Claire will become that much of a better family friend for us. I hope so anyway. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Yeah. Dag Come dag. On, Let's hope they have a lot in common. Memory serves, they don't have that much in common. Ah well, we'll uh, actually we'll let that interaction go. I thought that was going to be some teasing, and that wouldn't have been good at all. Dag dag. <laughs>